integrate 1 over cos theta with respect to theta. We multiply the denominator and numerator by 1 over cos theta plus tan theta. 1 over cos squared theta plus sine theta over cos squared theta over 1 over cos theta plus tan theta tan theta is sine theta over cos theta so we say let u equal to 1 over cos theta plus tan theta and tan theta is this so our du d theta we will find using quotient rule for y is equal to u over v then d y over d theta or the x is equal to v du over d theta minus u dv over d theta all over v squared so that's the formula so if we apply it here for this the v is the cos theta and the du is a one why here v is cos theta and u is sine theta cos theta times zero that is v du v is cos theta d1 d1 d theta is zero because it's a constant minus minus sine theta if we differentiate with respect to theta you have minus cos theta times one u is one so over v squared which is a cos squared theta so we go to this one so v is cos theta du d theta is another cos theta then minus u is sin theta and the d theta the cos theta d theta is minus sin theta and v squared is a cos squared theta we have this is not this is sine theta over cos squared theta plus this and this is one so sine squared theta plus cos squared theta is one one over cos squared theta so you see that this is what we have in our numerator in the integral this implies that our integral which is i is equal to if you put the theta here you cancel this one here because it will come over so you have now that the uh, because this whole thing is the u over the whole thing in the numerator is u so this is equivalent to log u plus c one over cos theta plus tan theta if you like plus c it still will give you tan x over 2 plus 1 all over tan x over 2 minus 1 plus c. Kindly like the video and subscribe.